Not got the latest mega powerful portable graphics card? Fret not. Here are the best games to play on your current laptop right now. Playing games whenever you want is amazing. Settling down with your laptop, nice stickers. And your G333 in ear gaming headphones is a perfect way to escape from your surroundings. Whether you're on a train or in a coffee shop, making the world disappear is so satisfying. But you don't need to have spent the earth on a gaming laptop to play games when you are out and about. Sure, you could spend thousands, but there are plenty of games you can play on much lower spec machines. In this video, we'll outline some of the best games that don't need the latest CPUs or GPUs to make them tick. They can even all be played on a Mac, so you're not missing out if you're on the fruitier side of things. Oh, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to Logitech G for more helpful videos just like this one. Now that's out of the way, let's break down the best games you can play on a laptop. And no, we haven't included Minecraft, because you definitely already know that one. Let's kick off with some good old-fashioned stealth chaos with a goose. OK, that's quite specific, and maybe not old-fashioned at all, but it turns out that Untitled Goose Game doesn't ask the Earth when it comes to specs. So the only thing you need to worry about here is being as truly villainous as possible, stealing sandwiches and keys, and generally harassing humanity. Just like our multiplayer favourite duck game, which requires equally low specs, it turns out that having a dedicated honk button, or quack button in the case of the former, is a feature we just didn't know we needed in every game. Every task on your to-do list here is ultra-satisfying to tick off. Just don't blame us when you do your best evil cackle while you're playing in public. That's all you. If our video on the best DLC packs wasn't clear enough, we just love The Sims 4 at Logitech G. The endless possibilities of this digital doll's house are almost overwhelming. Mermaids, vampires, houses so miniature we're not sure how our sim fits. The good news is that Maxis understands everyone's obsession with the speakers of Simlish, so The Sims 4 runs pretty happily whenever you load it up. Obviously, you won't have all the textures and detail of a more powerful GPU, but the ultra-low system requirements of an Intel Core 2 Duo and any GPU from the last 15 years or so means you'll be designing in no time. The Sims 4 is equally content to run on a Mac, so just make sure you've got enough space on your hard drive for all those add-ons. Don't miss cats and dogs whatever you do. And get playing. That is, if you can stop just personalizing pets. The first two entries in this video are relatively chilled. Sure, Untitled Goose Game might have scenarios that make you scratch your head at first, but there's no staring at your laptop screen so hard that you're afraid to blink. That is left entirely to Cuphead. <laughs> Ooh, it's hand-drawn. Ooh, it looks like classic Disney. Ooh, I've pulled out every single one of my eyebrow hairs in a fury after failing at those boxing frogs for the 80th time. We're not making it sound exactly fun, but Cuphead is true joy. Whether you're going it alone as Cuphead or with a Mugman-shaped friend, this trip through a cartoon world to collect the devil's bounties is challenge and reward in its purest form. Nothing feels as good as finally scraping a boss's health bar into nothingness as you try and ignore your own. It'll be fine. Honest. Stargy Valley, uh, crops up on so many of our lists, and that's because this farming RPG might actually be perfect. Even more so because it runs happily on laptops of all shapes and sizes without even breaking a sweat. It might even be the only game you need as you farm, raise animals, head into the mines in search of precious ore and artifacts, and befriend the residents of Pelican Town who each have unique stories to share. And Concerned Ape's passion for the cause means that instead of developing multiple sequels in the years since release, he's brought out endless quality of life upgrades and even a whole new island area with fresh quests, NPCs, and a deadly dungeon to lose hours in. 
Wherever you are, Stargy Valley is here for you to while away your time making sure you have the right fish making row and enough eggs to build that mayonnaise empire you've been planning. No? Just us? From the peace and quiet of agricultural life to the eternal stress of being transported to a hellish underworld of nighttime monsters and a worrying number of rabbits. Don't Starve is another low requirement game that offers up tens of hours of crafting and survival. If you're just hardy enough to stay alive and, well, not starve. There's been plenty of DLC since, and even the ability to play with a friend, but nothing can beat the true existential dread of being alone. Desperately finding food, making yourself an anti-madness grass hat, and trying to make sure your sanity survives the night. We might be used to it by now, but watching those meters never gets any less stressful. There's just something irresistible about exploring here too, as you bravely fill out the map with further and further excursions from home. Go on, you be bold. It'll be fine. Two Point Hospital is officially the best cure for a PC that you don't think can run new games. Just like The Sims 4, an older PC or Mac won't be able to deliver the crispest of textures that actually makes it feel more like its true inspiration. Two Point is a spiritual successor to Theme Hospital, made by many of the same developers. This means even more of the pun ailments and diseases and hilarious cures to match. Whether you're watching dancing skeletons on their way through the x-ray machine or turning your patients from dogs back into humans, this hospital sim proves that laughter is officially the best medicine. Throw in all the DLC that's arrived since launch and we'd like to reward it with all our love. Get it? Ward? Oh, never mind. Next game. And finally, what better way to while away a long train journey than building a colony from scratch on a whole new planet? RimWorld means you're going to want to plug in your battery charger on IRL Earth, though, as this is going to take serious time. Prepare to lose yourself on the RimWorld Reddit as you manage your unique characterful colonists, attempting to keep their spirits up and stop them from killing each other, or being killed or eaten. You get the gist. Life is hard here, but RimWorld constantly delivers new, unique stories that feel like the genuine result of your actions. Random events just don't feel random, and whenever you are playing, RimWorld is a truly immersive, transportative experience that just doesn't matter what platform you're experiencing it on. This is an unforgettable journey. Just remember to stop every so often. So that's the best games you can play on a regular laptop wherever you are. Let us know your essential low spec requiring masterpiece in the comments below. Drop us a like if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe to Logitech G for more lists and features just like this one. If you do already subscribe, remember that the notification bell is right there to ring to make sure you know whenever a new video arrives. Now we're putting our earphones in, opening up our laptop and settling in for the rest of the day. Catch you in the next one.